Reselling is the archetype of e-commerce and retail. The reseller buys products from wholesalers, distributors, or manufacturers, and they sell them through their own store for more than they bought them for. Functionally speaking, you're going to have your own website where you accept orders and fulfill them yourself. You also have to store the products yourself. The big benefit is you're selling other people's products and you don't need to manufacture them. Let's talk about some of the benefits to reselling. The first benefit is that most of the products that people want to buy already exist. If you're an expert in a niche, then you already know what products are in demand, and you don't have to spend a ton of money on research and development to develop new products. You know what works, and you can sell it. So if you're already an expert on birds, you know what type of feeders are best, what food is best, and what binoculars are best. You can buy those from suppliers and sell them through your own website. If you're familiar with a niche, you can get a reselling business up and running quickly. With reselling, you're storing products and fulfilling orders. That means you have a lot of control over shipping costs. And since it will likely all come from one warehouse, you can experiment with upsells and cross-sells to get users to add more to their cart, so you can maximize the profit with each order. With reselling, someone purchasing more almost always means you're going to make more money. Speaking of which, larger margins. When you get products at a low cost, usually 20-50% to 50 of MSRP, or manufacturer's suggested retail price, you have some room to play with your margins. You can offer discounts, spend money on pay-per-click advertising, and other tactics to get the sale. When you have slim margins and the margin changes, you can't do much to respond to the change. Larger margins means flexibility, which can save your business when eventually the market does change. A big advantage is being able to experiment with new products. If your store starts growing, you can expand into different areas. Since you aren't inventing new products, you just have to find a supplier who already offers these products and stock them. Oftentimes, you can order a case of products, which might only be 12 to 24 units, so it costs very little to experiment with a new product type. And I highly recommend constant experimentation to see which products and niches are most profitable. Resellers have incredible flexibility when it comes to overhead. You can choose to run a very lean operation and outsource fulfillment, or you can keep it in-house and keep a higher percentage of each sale. If you want to keep overhead low, you can use services like Amazon FBA or other third-party logistics companies to store and ship your products. It'll eat into your margins, but it keeps your business location independent so you can work from anywhere in the world. Or if you want to run your own warehouse and shipping setup, you can do that too. This can lead to higher margins so you can make more with each order, but it will take time and energy to manage. As a brand new reseller, you might be able to start with a small order stored in your garage, which can make it very easy. With reselling, you have the choice to build your own infrastructure and make more money per order, or outsource it and run a lean and efficient machine, focusing more of your time and energy on your products and marketing. Let's talk about some of the drawbacks of reselling. The first is that you don't have any branding. When you sell someone else's products, you run the risk of another store coming along and selling the same products. If you sell Apple computers and another computer store opens down the street, they can sell the exact same product and put pressure on your business. To mitigate this, you need to add value to your products in some way, either with expert staff, a bigger selection in a niche. As an example, a computer store could compete with a big box store that has some computers but doesn't specialize. You can also bundle services with products, such as a computer warranty or free classes with a purchase, or some other way to add value to a product that someone can't easily copy. Another drawback is the capital. To be a reseller, you need to have capital to buy products at a low price with the goal of reselling them at a much higher price. And often, you want to have hundreds if not thousands of SKUs, or different products. Let's say you offer 100 different products and each one of those products costs you $5 to order. And you need to order at least 12 units of each type. That's going to cost you, at a bare minimum, $6,000. And this is the best case scenario. Many stores need to order a lot more than this. Expect to spend $10,000 or more just on product to start a reseller business. Since capital is so important with reselling, you need to plan large purchases from suppliers and time those so you have enough cash flow to pay your other bills. You'll need someone on your team who is very good with operations and projections. They need to understand how fast you'll get product in, how much it will cost, and how long it will take to start earning a return on that investment. 
Reselling is a great way to get into e-commerce, and maybe someday create your own products. It is cash-intensive and requires someone with good planning and logistics. It also has a lot more margin and flexibility than dropshipping. 